Here we are again, episode... 42. 42. He's got to say the number because I never know what episode no, he doesn't care. To. I think last week you, you said it was episode 20 odd, 20 something. Yeah. And we're actually in the 40s. So. That's pretty cool though, 40. Yeah, 42. You're, you're nearly 40. Am I? Even though our birthdays are a week apart. <laughs> He's nearly 40. Yep. I'll tell you what though, the old body knows it. The old body knows that I'm nearly 40. Why? Did legs today. Did legs today. With the... No. Why are you talking like that? No, that wasn't on purpose. Like, I wasn't trying to say, like, you did legs today. I didn't want to sound like a bloke's bloke. I was just, I'm clutching at my legs as I say it, and I'm in pain. I've got an itchy leg. I'm in pain. I'm glad to know that you've got itchy leg. i got sore leg because yeah. I trained legs today with Kylie. Oh, dudums. And it's not fun yeah. at all because. Well, don't train with me then. I if, have to. Why? You you linger around me because you're my wife. <laughs> you linger around. It's it's like having an I annoying watch wasp him. in the gym. <laughs> I watch him and I go, what are you doing? That's right. And she doesn't correct my form at rep three but I mean, or four. A, squ- a squat is all the way like a squat, you know? Right. You were doing like a squat. No, like no. A squat. <laughs> I wasn't doing a squat. I was doing what these hips, after 14 years of wrestling, hips. what these hips and knees will allow me what to do. What about these hips? I've, I've birthed. Here we go. Children. <laughs> is it about the children? Yeah, but yeah. I've birthed three kids. Like that. That ruins your All hips, arguments eh, ladies? are done after that point. But it does, though. And here's he getting like, these hips. No, I'm just saying. What have though, your hips done? Right. <laughs> All I'm saying is, my hips haven't done anything. But what I'm saying is, if somebody's up to rep three or four, you stop them there and you say, hey, buddy, go a bit lower on those squats. You wait till I'm up to the 12th rep and I'm finished the set. And then you go, that set doesn't count. You did it. Crap. Yeah. I don't go, that, that. Why have I got Mrs. Jones' voice? <laughs> I go, said... Go lower on those squats, thank you. <laughs> it's Mrs. Jones. Yeah, I don't have that voice. But I, right. I... No, I just said to you, that doesn't count. Like, what was that? That was a squat. I know, but I'm knackered because you keep going, do that again, do that again. You lunges. I yeah. saw you watched me do four sets of lunges. You went, your knees weren't low enough, so you made me do the lunges over again. Yeah, well, I'm moral knackered. of the story, don't train, don't train next to me. Yeah, and this is the episode of Roger having a moan, so mm. moaning myrtle. I've got an itch, Maybe itchy yeah. bitten, itchy bitten. Right? Can we address <laughs> that for a minute? Uh, I've got an itch. It's called I an think itchy I've got bite. A mosquito bite. It's called an itchy bite or a mosquito bite. And for the twelve years we've been together, Kylie <laughs> calls it an itchy bitten. <laughs> and it was only a week ago when I told the kids it's actually called an itchy bite, and I heard from the back, "Is it really?" Madam didn't know. I thought it was an itchy bitten. Like you get itchy bitten. Unbelievable. Anyway. Unbelievable. Same thing. Is it? Yeah. Yep. But I actually have got an itchy bitten. So I'm going to go get some cream Kylie's for that. Kylie's world. And we'll Kylie's see you world. after the, what is it called? Intro. Intro. Yep. We'll roll the intro and we'll see you right after this. <laughs> Welcome along to episode 42 of the Ventura Nutrition Q&A. For those of you who haven't seen the show before, we are just here for a chat. Answer your questions. Answer your questions. Having a have little... A, have a wee drink. Drink Join of us water. for a wee drink. Why? Like My why Scottish is... accent. Yeah. Come on, Kylie, come out for a wee drink. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go for a drink. Come out for a, come out for a chat and a wee drink. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. For anyone who hasn't seen the show before, you can send questions into at Ventura Nutrition on social media. Info at VenturaNutrition.co.nz is our email or through the contact form on our website, www.VenturaNutrition.co.nz. The YouTube shout outs, I have to give it. I know oh, Kylie gosh, always gives yeah. me slack for it. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please Just fast go... forward it. No, don't. <laughs> don't fast forward it. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah. And, and skip to the first and question. Able notifications. Make sure that you never miss whenever we upload a new video. Yep, and that bell will go ding and all that stuff. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Now that that's out the way, let's get into the we first question. We are ready question. to crack into the first question. Too much. Talking. Are you ready, my love? Yep. 
Cheers. All right. Uh, the first question today comes from Rob from Levin. Hey, Rob. Hello, Rob. Thanks for writing in, man. Um, Rob says, do you guys have anything for TMJ? TMJ. TMJ. Isn't that the um, inflammation of like the jaw hinge? Jaw. Yep. Very mm. rare. Mm. Very rare. Um, TMJ. One of my friends had that. That's right. Yes. We just recently helped uh, one of Kylie's mates with TMJ. Mm. For those of you that don't know, TMJ is a temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. Mm. It's essentially inflammation of the jaw hinge. Yeah. Right? So it makes like everything to do with your jaw really hard to do. Like not hard to do, but like painful. Yes. So it's really painful if you eat, like when you're eating, anything that moves the jaw, like mm -hmm. opening your mouth wide to like speak. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, she, my friend who had it, she said that it was actually like constant pain. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's no different to, um, or I should say very similar to an injured joint Yeah, or a sprained joint, ligament, tendon and so forth. So yeah, that just causes constant pain. Yeah, that's right. So Rob, we do recommend supplements for this. Um, and it's actually the same for anyone out there who has any type of joint disorder or joint pain. Mm. Essentially, the first thing would be glucosamine. Yes. Because um, the fluid around the joint is made up of glucosamine. So when there is an injury in that area, extra glucosamine can help with extra fluid in that area, mm. which can re reduce some of the pain and help the healing process begin. Yeah. Now, the cartilage around the joint, and in this case, the cartilage in the jaw, um, is made up of chondroitin. So by taking extra chondroitin, we can start repairing some of the damaged cartilage in that area. Mm -hmm. Both of those products, glucosamine and chondroitin, can be found um, in our product on our website called our Joint Pain Formula by Profite Sports. That is an awesome product with high potent clinical dosages of both glucosamine and con chondroitin. Mm -hmm. I would also recommend something uh, for you, Rob, like Vitaminerals uh, Magnes which is a balance of calcium and magnesium. You'd want calcium uh, for anyone who's suffering from joint issues in order to strengthen the bones in that area. You'd also want magnesium to not only help strengthen bones, but also to relax the muscles mm. in, in Rob's case or in your friend's case to relax the jaw muscles yes. so that the joint is not under so much pressure. Yeah. Was there anything else that we had? Your yeah, we on? put her on um, D3. D3. Yes, of course, vitamin D3. Yeah. So that is basically to reduce inflammation. Yes. And so while while we are trying to heal a, an injured joint, tendon, or ligament, while we want to repair the glucosamine content in the fluid and get the cartilage going again, we also want to reduce any inflammation that we can. Mm. So vitamin D3 is another good one. Uh, we do a really good and a really powerful vitamin D3 by California Gold Nutrition. Yeah, and it's certified. Certified, 100%. And uh, that's available on our website, www.venturonutrition.co.nz. I would say those three products, Rob, would be your best starting point. Mm. And also, this is a situation because it's inflammation of the jaw. We can't even tell him what foods because yeah. his eating is hindered. Yeah. You know, so this is one of those few situations where we will say supplements is going to be your best bet. Mm. So check out any of the three that we recommended. I would recommend actually taking all three together. Mm. And let us know, Rob, how it all goes, man. Yeah, and anyone else who has any um, joint mm. pain yep. or ligament pain, reach those out three, to us. Yeah. Or, well, those three, vitamin yeah. D3, JPF by Provide Sports, and Magnese by Vitamin Rolls. Yeah, you JPF is, um, is such a good supplement all around, mm. array, like yeah. for any joint pain. We, we actually got put onto um, joint pain formula by our chiropractor. Yes. Because he was looking for a product that had uh, Boswellia. Mm. And he, he was telling us how good the Boswellia is, which in this case, we haven't even recommended it for that. But our chiropractor was telling us how good it is for um, for injuries and inflammation. Mm. And I so that. we managed to find the joint pain formula. And so we started stocking it. And that was since 2009. Yeah. We've stocked it ever since. And when I was bodybuilding, I remember I was constantly taking it mm. just yep. even to Excellent prevent product. Injury. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Mm. So check those out, Rob. Hopefully that helps, my man. All right, uh, moving on to the next question. Um, this one comes from Amanda from Hamilton. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Thanks. Thanks so much for writing in. Uh, she says, I love your YouTube channel. Just recently found you guys and been watching from the beginning like a Netflix series. <laughs> Lol. Oh, thank you. In one of your episodes, you guys mentioned you haven't had COVID yet. And she puts in brackets, which is pretty rare to hear nowadays. Just wondered if 
You've had it yet. And if so, how did it affect you? Well, we haven't had it yet. Still none. Still COVID Touch free. Touch wood. Yep. So it's still COVID free in this house. Pilot. I put it down to the ZDC though. MFL ZDC. Yeah. That's our bulletproof. Because um, I mean, we live in Auckland where. Well, everyone around us has had it. So how we've. I mean, a lot of our family haven't had it, but the ones who have, mm. we've been in close contact with. And I've, I've had a lot of my friends have it. Mm -hmm. Yep. After, um, like, I've actually been with some of my friends and then leaving and then they yep. text and say, oh, sorry, like, I've yep. just got just coronavirus or the kids sports teams have had it. yes you know and so we've definitely been exposed to it that's for sure yeah 100%. but we haven't had it yet we haven't caught it um like kylie said mfl zdc uh, i put it down to that what i do too no i do to? too we i mean we were called nutters when we first started in the pandemic talking about this mm. because once again you know i think out of the top 10 most watched channels during the pandemic the first nine were all news channels because all mm. they were doing was talking about the pandemic, yet not once did anybody speak about vitamin D3 or zinc in the mainstream media. Mm. It was all just um, death tolls and lockdowns. Yes. and we... It's quite sad, really, eh? because if they did give the information about ZDC, mm. which I think someone did, and then it got shut down real quick, eh? Yeah, I mean... That's you're... a whole nother chapter. That's, yeah. <laughs> Who knows why, but our viewpoint was for two reasons zinc and vitamin d3 which are two out of the three main components in zdc as you can yes. guess by the name it's zinc zdc zinc vitamin d3 and vitamin c, c. vitamin c's obviously already got a great reputation for strengthening the immune system mm -hmm. vitamin d3 is an immune system modulator that tells the body and the immune system how hard it needs to attack mm -hmm. an incoming threat so anyone who's deficient in vitamin d3 who catches any kind of virus or takes in any kind of pathogen, their body won't know how it's supposed to respond to that threat. Yes. So that's why vitamin D3 is so, so important. Yeah, and a lot of people say, like, don't you get D3 from the sun? Mm. But I found, like, a lot of people during the lockdown, you know, they were kind of indoors majority of the time. Yeah. People weren't leaving their yeah. house to Still go to now. the office. Even the lockdowns are over. Yeah. A lot of people now work from home permanently. Yeah, so a lot of people like don't have to leave the house anymore because they just wake up and go to their home office and they mm. do all their work. So you're not exposed to as much D3 as we were once upon a time. Mm. So true. Um, but for us, we, I mean, we expose ourselves to a lot of D3 because we do a lot of walks and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but A lot of walks and then we take our ZDC yeah. and then we take a vitamin D3 supplement on top of that as well. Yeah. Just to make sure that we're covering all bases. Mm. Yep. So that, I think that. That is definitely is... something. And then lastly, zinc, which is probably the most important mineral to be on mm. during a time like this. Yeah, it's, zinc is amazing. It's awesome. It's mm. so underrated for its power to defend against viruses. I agree. Zinc acts as a defense mechanism on the human cell, mm. and it actually blocks the receptor on your cell where the virus wants to inject itself and begin its spread. It's called the ionophore receptor. Zinc blocks that off. Mm. So you can you can catch COVID. I mean, we may have had COVID. Yeah, but, but we just didn't. It didn't have a chance to spread. Yeah. And allow us to test positive. So it we we very well could have been exposed to COVID. Mm. We don't know. But the point being is our white blood cells, our B cells, our T cells, and our immune system took care of the threat just like that. Mm. So it didn't have actually have a chance to manifest into full blown COVID. Yeah. So yeah, as Kylie said, MFL ZDC is our first line of defense. But yep. also, if you really want to step the game up, Vitamin Minerals Trevira. Yeah, Trevira. Trevira, which is a herbal antiviral formula. Which we've sold out of, like, every time we get stock in. We never have stock. It sells out yep. within, like, 24 we hours. never have stock. I think, as we're filming this right now, I think we've only got, like, one left in mm. stock. So that is also another great product that's been very popular during these times. Yes. And, again, you can never do enough to protect yourself and your family. So mm. we are that uh, crazy family who are on every herb, every vitamin, every supplement. And every mineral. We've done that throughout the pandemic and mm. so far so good. It's we just like our insurance it. policy really and it yeah. seems to be working for us. So yeah. we're going to keep going. We really just couldn't afford to get sick between mm. the business and running around after three kids. We just thought yeah, that's true, that would just finish us off. But no, it's worked. So mm. 
healthy and happy, sore legs, <laughs> sore knees, sore yep. hips, but COVID free. <laughs> but so. thank you to Vitamin Minerals. Vitamin Minerals and MFL keeping us safe. Yep. That was from Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, awesome Amanda. Question. And thanks for binge watching, by the way. Treating us like it's quite, <laughs> yeah. quite an honor. Binge watching, that people like are binge watching our episodes. That's awesome. I hope you're getting some good info <laughs> between all the nonsense. All right, this one is from Alex. He's from Auckland. It's um yeah, Alex, basketball Alex. Oh, been showing us yes. for years. Has there ever been a supplement you have used or come across that has made you think this is a waste of time and money? Yep. Plenty. I can't even remember what it was, but it was like that one that, what is that called? Like it was like a weight loss pill that everyone was like asking for and it was like a phase for like a couple of months. It was like oh, Kimbad. Uh, Garcinia. Garcinia. Garcinia, yeah. Garcinia, yeah. Okay. Gosh, that was a I big, see which road you're going down. So you're going down, the, you're going down the gimmick road. Yeah. Phases. We ended up giving it, like when we had the Albany shop, we yep. ended up giving it away for free because. Well, it, everyone kept ringing up. Everybody yeah, kept calling. Gar- what is it, Garcinia? Or have you heard about this new Garcinia? My mate's on it, and he reckons like he's lost twenty kilos. And, and we'd be like, "Yeah, come on down. We'll give you a free bottle." Yeah, <laughs> we've got we were like giving stuff of away for free. And I, I see where Kylie's coming from because through the seventeen years we've been in the game, there's always been this, you know, tout- magical pill. Yeah, touted as the miracle product. Mm. So it's like first it was Garcinia, then it was African mango. Yes. Remember, everyone was like, "Do you do African mango?" And it, it's sad because it, it, it um, capitalizes on that part of the market where people are looking for a quick fix and mm. they always think, okay, this has got to be the one. This has got to be the yeah. one. There's always these phases. I mean, right now we're getting a lot of um, messages about t- turkesterone. Yes. You know, especially from men. Yes. Because it's hailed as the new anabolic. It's, oh, it's just like steroids. And mm. guys are opening their wallets and just pouring money at these things. Um, I don't think turkesterone's even been around long enough. Mm. They've already got a new one coming out saying the new tech turkesterone. It's, I don't know what it's called, but Kylie's right. That's always something that we come across in the industry. Just like little like gimmicks that pop up for like a couple of months and then you never Never ever hear hear about about it it ever again. Again, eh, you look at things like creatine, glutamine, Mm, vitamin B6, arginine, citrulline, malate. These Mm. things never, ever go away. Beta alanine came onto the market, it never left. Mm. Class, cluster dextrin carbohydrates, I was told about that five years ago. I was skeptical. I said, oh, here we go. Yeah. But to my surprise, cluster dextrin carbohydrates is still here to this day. Mm. It's one of our po- most popular sellers. We sell our Redcon 1 Cluster Bomb, which yes. is the cluster dextrin carbohydrate formula. So, so popular. So mm. it's usually the test of time, Alex, that will tell you whether or not something's a waste of money. Yeah. But if I may add one more gem to the answer. I know what you're going to say. I have one product pre-workout yep, <laughs> that I believe is a complete waste of time yeah. and money is pre-workout. A lot of people love it. Mm. Heaps of people love pinging out, mm. right? But well, they just love like that real like zits yeah. that it gives you. Eh? And we have those days, yeah. right? We have those days. I mean, we've trained a lot of times where either you or I have looked at each other and said, man, I could really go for a pre-workout right now. Even filming this, sometimes mm. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, we're, like we're I must up, look so tired. We're up well into the early hours of the morning filming these Q&As. Yeah, because it's the only chance we get because our kids our are kids, sleeping. Exactly, you know? so sometimes you do need a hit like that. But the reason I say pre-workout is one of the most useless supplements out there is because technically speaking, aside from the caffeine, which will keep you awake, mm. it offers no benefit as far as muscle gain and fat loss goes, mm. right? Yes, it gives you more energy so you can push harder in the gym, sure. Yeah. But it's more the after effects and the knock-on effects of pre-workout, yeah. i.e. the high levels of caffeine that keep your excitatory neurotransmitters in your brain fired. Mm. Even when you go to sleep, you don't get to sleep to the depth that you really need to in order to release growth hormone. Yeah. So there, your muscle growth starts to suffer. Mm. Um, as far as fat loss goes, I just spoke about it in the first episode of our top five. That pre-workout causes your liver to dump a lot of sugar into your blood for energy. Mm -hmm. And when you have so much sugar floating in the blood in the form of glucose, your insulin levels go up and you can't burn body fat. So in a nutshell, yes, pre-workout gives you a lot of energy, Mm. but it's the long-term goal that's trying to be achieved that I think is not helped. Or in some cases, it's actually slowed down your progress. Yeah. And also I... The reason I don't like it is because then your body relies on pre-workout mm. in order to train. Mm. So you become reliant on a product in order to get a workout done. Mm. And then you get addicted to it, don't mm. you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And from a marketing standpoint, 
supplement companies love Love that that, yeah and that again you can't get addicted to a multivitamin Mm. you can't get addicted to whey protein you can't get addicted to glutamine or creatine yeah you know but you can get addicted to pre-workout yeah so pre-workout is something that literally people like kylie said they become reliant on it they will not go to the gym without it Mm. so it automatically becomes their number one priority on their shopping list yeah when they're it's really sad like i i used to when i was um competing i used Mm. to watch people at the gym oh i forgot my pre-workout oh i can't train i'm Mm. gonna go home Mm. i'm like what like it was crazy again you're 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 using something that has so many negative effects on the Mm. body but the one positive it gives you is energy yeah but 99 percent of the time you are probably only feeling low energy because you have so much sleep and rest recovery build up debt mm, debt yeah you know that your body now needs this permanently but so. i also find um like for me personally like if you go to the gym and you don't feel like working out when you mm. do start working out you almost like kind of get like that oxygen hit oh yeah and it makes you like get into the mode so even if you don't feel like you want to go to the gym yeah i always say to everyone just go like the, I remember you used you to say to me, minute, yeah, you just, used to say, do your first set and see how you feel. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Do your first set, see how you feel. But yeah, pre-workout and all the gimmick stuff that keeps yeah. popping up, I would... Stick to the tried and tested and true products, my yeah. friend. And if you don't know what they are, send us a message. Yeah, but that's definitely a great question. So thank yeah, you so awesome much question. for sending that in. Send us a message at Ventura Nutrition on social media. You can get us uh, Facebook or Instagram um, un- under that name. Info at VenturaNutrition.co.nz is our email um, or through the contact form on our website, www.VenturaNutrition.co.nz. Anyone else who's watching on YouTube, feel free to like this video. Please subscribe to our channel and enable the notifications bell so that you never miss any of our new videos. Yep. My love? Yep. Ring that bell. Whatever he says. Ring that bell. <laughs> yep. There it is. Sums it up pretty much. To all you people, ring that bell. Yep. So, and for now, we're going to clock off and I'm yep. going to go eat some chocolate. I might go foam roll or sit in an ice bath or something to numb my <laughs> legs because I am so, I'm in so much pain. Yep. So if anyone Where are you getting there, your ice from? I don't, I don't know. I've said that, but we've got a tray about that big in the fridge of a few cubes. So <laughs> does it count as an ice bath if you only got like four ice cubes? I'd love to put those ice cubes right on those legs of yours. Yeah, you're not touching me, mate. You're not touching me. At this moment in time, I don't even want to move from here. My legs are so sore, but nonetheless, cheers, everyone. He's going to have have Godzilla quads after this. Sorry, Godzilla? Is that a new movie, is it? Godzilla. Godzilla. (laughs) Is that the French version? Well, what is it called? Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. Is it not Gonzilla? No, what's I, Gonzilla? I thought it was Sounds Gonzilla. Sounds like, like a tourist ride in Rotorua. Gonzilla. Gonzilla. We're going up the Gonzilla. No, isn't it the Gondola? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What are you mixing things with? We're going to be going up a Gondola. Anyway, we're going to have a discussion about this Gonzilla movie that Kylie's watching. Yep. Gonzilla Legs. Cheers. Cheers, everyone, Cheers. for tuning in. Episode 42. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Thanks, everyone, for listening to my pain. See you later. See you on, on episode, episode 43. Yep. Peace. She, is she got so mad at me last night because I was eating my pudding and it was it was like at the end and I was taking the spoon and I was scraping every last bit of the bowl and it was going ding ding because I was so in the zone of the pudding I didn't realize what noise I was making and she was sitting next to me on the couch and I was going ding ding and she turned to me and she said okay it's gone there's none left it's gone <laughs>